carbamide peroxide versus hydrogen peroxide whitening. Which one will ruin your teeth? The answer is, none of them will damage your teeth permanently. And in this video, we will tell you why this is and which one you should go for if teeth whitening is on your mind. So what is carbamide peroxide? Teeth whitening is carried out through two methods, either hydrogen peroxide or carbamide peroxide. Carbamide peroxide is a complex substance that breaks down into hydrogen peroxide when it comes into contact with water. So in essence, the chemistry of most tooth whitening is that of hydrogen peroxide because carbamide peroxide breaks down into hydrogen anyway. The ratio of carbamide peroxide to hydrogen peroxide is 3 to 1, which simply means that if a whitening product has 30% carbamide peroxide within it, 10% of that will be hydrogen peroxide. Is carbamide better than hydrogen peroxide? No, not at all. Both of these substances work equally efficiently at whitening teeth. A study carried out by the American Dental Association shows that although carbamide peroxide produced slightly more emphatic results initially, ultimately products containing equivalent amounts of carbamide peroxide and hydrogen peroxide produced exactly the same results in the end. You might be wondering why these home teeth whitening kits most of the time contain carbamide peroxide and not hydrogen. The reason for this is hydrogen peroxide breaks down fast, 30 to 60 minutes, and the concentration is much higher than carbamide peroxide. Carbamide peroxide, on the other hand, releases half of its whitening power within the first two hours and then remains active for up to six additional hours. If you get your teeth whitening done at the dentist, you will notice that they use hydrogen peroxide as the whitening agent and the sessions last between 40 to 60 minutes. It's more efficient in terms of saving time and giving fast results. That's not to say carbamide peroxide is less effective. In fact, it works just as well. It's contained within home teeth whitening kits because it's safer to use by the average person and the concentration is lower, which is why it is recommended that you use the whitening kits every day for the first week to achieve the same results as you would at the dentist. Which causes more sensitivity? Both produce brilliant results. There's no arguing that. But there is a noticeable difference in sensitivity when using hydrogen peroxide compared with carbamide peroxide products. Hydrogen peroxide should only be used in a supervised environment under professional supervision, especially if high concentrations of the substance are being used. This is because of the extreme hypertooth sensitivity and gum irritation. On the other hand, carbamide peroxide can safely be used at home without the need of additional supervision. But please consult your local dentist before carrying out any sort of whitening treatment. Which has a longer shelf life? Carbamide peroxide has a longer shelf life than hydrogen peroxide, mainly because carbamide does not release all of its whitening power in one go. Nowadays, most whiteners contain stabilizers, which helps to increase the shelf life for up to one year. A refrigerator makes a good place to store whitening kits because of the cool, dark environment. The real advantage of carbamide peroxide. When carbamide peroxide gel is administered, a two-step process initiates. One will be exposed to saliva, breaks down into hydrogen peroxide and urea. Two, the hydrogen then breaks down further and creates free radicals important for the whitening process. This transformation takes time and means that free radicals are produced over a longer time span and at a sustained rate. Which should you go for if you're in need of teeth whitening? Both these gels can be produced in a way that makes them equal products and both types have been accepted by the dental community as a whole. But we would recommend you go for products with a 16 to 18 percent carbamide peroxide gel because it has the longest history of being used, 25 years, has been the most studied of the two. I know there was a lot to take in today, but hopefully you know the difference between the two. Whatever treatment option you decide to go for, just keep in mind that both work equally good. It's just that one works faster than the other. Before you go, please share, subscribe, comment, and like, as it will encourage us to keep making more helpful videos for you guys. All right, folks, we'll see you later.